Hey guys, here I am in the theater just getting ready to watch the Titanic in 3D in the IMAX, so super excited. Titanic was called the film of dreams and it was, it really was. <laughs> it was really an amazing opportunity for me, you know, a dream come true to watch my favorite movie in the big screen. And I just thought I'd share this as a vlog to share certain things with you guys. I want you to stay tuned. I'm sure it'll be a great, uh, wonderful video for you guys. Um, you who know me know how much I love Titanic, the concept of Titanic. I've watched so many documentaries over and over, learned a lot of things about Titanic, inside out information about Titanic. I even did a sermon series on Titanic and I might make even more in the days to come. And even this funny video that I made about Titanic, um, maybe a year ago or something. Uh, different things because Titanic has been something that has captivated me a lot. And it was always my dream to watch it in the big screen. Even 10 years back uh, when the opportunity came when uh, Titanic was re-released on account of 100 years of the sinking of the real ship, um, I couldn't go because I thought, you know, maybe I should look for the people, you know, somebody would come along with me, tag along with me, and it didn't work out. You know, this time, the minute the opportunity came, I didn't think twice about it. You know, I just booked the tickets, I went and then, and I just enjoyed because it was my dream come true. And it is interesting, like, you know, you have a small desire, like watching a movie in the big screen and God granted that desire. And I had to take the bold step to go ahead with it. You know, I didn't, I didn't wait for everybody to support or wait for things because I was like, you know what, I shouldn't lose this ticket. I shouldn't lose my opportunity to watch it. So it's it's like a lesson for all of us you know um, if you are passionate about something you are after something when opportunity knocks don't think twice don't lose it don't miss it just go grab it right so a couple of things that I experienced I mean it was amazing uh, with all I watched it in IMAX that's uh, like the best quality possible watching this uh, movie I unfold uh, with the quality and uh, you know it, it, it actually gave a lot of depth to things like for example in the scene where Rose is uh, trying to jump from the Titanic when, when I was looking at it I've seen the scene a million times but when I saw it in the big screen it, it in 3d it quite you could actually see the depth of how high the Titanic was, which I'd never seen in 2D, you know? It just seemed like a small ship, but when you saw it in 3D, you could see like it was so huge, you know? Um, like that uh, 3D was good in its own way. You could, you could feel like you were in the waters, you could feel the pain of the people and all of these things. And uh, the, the, the next thing I, I, I could say about the Titanic um, is, you know, uh, watching it with people in the theater gave a different perspective to it. I, I watched this movie a billion times, I think, you know, like a literal case of billions and 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 billions of, you know, you'd have seen the meme of Trump saying billions. So it's kind of like, I've seen it like so many times, but when I went to the theater, I never thought of Titanic as having anything funny. I always thought it was just a serious demeanor movie, a romantic novel or a classic, and um, you know, the tragedy being portrayed and all of that. But there were people laughing throughout this uh, first part of the movie, of course, not the second part. But they were laughing throughout. They were like, you know, with, with the way Jack was behaving and all of those things. And it brought a different perspective to the table. You know, I never thought of Titanic as in, having anything funny. But when I watched watching this movie in the theater, in the presence of different people, you could see why people laughed, where people cheered. And I was like, wow. You know, this, these are the different perspectives of people. Uh, you know, 
it's like another life lesson for us. You know, sometimes when we look at our life with our own way, we look at it only with our perspective, with our understanding, with our behavior. But when you involve other people, you know, I'm not saying go and involve every single Tom, Dick and Harry. But when you take the advice of good people, when you take some good godly advice, you know, the scripture says, Proverbs 11, 14, in the multitude of counselors, there's safety. So in other words, when you take good counsel of your life and perspective, it's actually a good thing. You you see things you never saw before. I never saw anything funny in Titanic before, but this was a, an amazing thing. Now, when I start looking at Titanic, when I see those scenes again, I'm like, wow, this was something funny that people, I never thought it was funny, you know? You know what I mean? So, uh, it's another lesson that I learned from watching Titanic in the theater. Like, a different perspective is something you learn when you involve different people. And lastly, you know, whenever you tend to watch a movie, you're watching it for the first time or you liked something, you watched it again, it's it's like something new. So uh, you're new to it, you don't know how it's going to be. But Titanic is something you watch, like I said, billions of times. So you know the end from the beginning. So you know how it's going to be, but you're just experiencing it, right? In other words, it's how our life is, right? Like you don't know how how you're going to feel through the experience but you know that your ending is going to be good because God has good plans for you. He knows the end from the beginning. He knows how to make everything beautiful in its own way. So that's another perspective that I learned from watching Titanic in the theater in our everyday life that even when you feel like oh I don't know how it's going to be. I'm not able to understand. You know, perspective is really difficult but you know the end from the beginning. You know how it's all going to turn out. You know, even when Jack is telling this line, you know, I'm going to write a stern letter to the White Star Liner about all this. People laugh because they know that he's going to die because they watched the movie before. So likewise, in our everyday life, when you see, you know, even when life doesn't make sense, even when you experience something and it's so uncomfortable, you know that when it's all said and done, it's going to be beautiful. God is going to make all things beautiful. He's going to make the good plans over your life come to pass and you're going to fulfill your plan and your purpose that God has for you. So these are a couple of things that I learned from watching Titanic in the theater. If you watch this movie in the theater, share it around. Uh, let me know how you felt about it. It was my dream come true. I'm sure it would be your dream come true. And uh, amazing to have this amazing exposure. So uh, do put in your thoughts in the comment section. Like, comment and subscribe to this channel if you're not done so. And I'm going to catch up with you very soon. God bless you. the door when the song says that you're in my heart but I don't see anything that song is a lie Hey, I hope you were blessed by this video and I really encourage you to subscribe to this channel to get more such content which will bless you, edify you and help you live the life that God has for you as well. I also encourage you to check out my daily podcast, Fuel for the Soul with John Gifta. By the grace of God, it's been trending across the globe, making an impact for the kingdom of God. To check out my books, especially my latest one, Unveil Your Purpose, which became a number one new release on Amazon. To stay plugged in through a social media for regular inspirations on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter.